Hello everyone, it's Nixenia here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know who I am, well, who knows? I don't know either. So, I didn't film myself for a while and I was filming only time lapses. If you want to know why, you can feel free to ask me in the comments down below because in this video I'm going to discuss a totally different topic. I was on the Pinterest and I was looking there for some vintage designs, vintage fashion and everything related. I found one page of a French magazine, I think it was in 1930s or about that time, and there was head designs with patterns and illustrations. I think if you're into vintage fashion, you know the magazine I'm talking about. I couldn't find the name of that magazine, so I had only one page with the head I liked very much and uh, with the instructions. Of course, all the instructions were in French. was learning French in school, but since then I don't practice it much. I can read in French, but uh, translating is a totally different thing. I've collected courage, opened Google Translate and started my journey to Chapeau and hat making. On that page was two photos of different heads. In the title it was written Il vous sera facile de faire vous-même ce deux chapeaux de feutre ou tissu. Obviously this hat supposed to be made of felt or wool felt, but I've decided to make it from wool fabric. I had a very cute fabric and I thought that it's very suitable for this design. First of all, I've traced the pattern. I used to trace in paper to make things easier. It was quite a challenge, so I didn't film it. I'm extremely bad in tracing things. Well, to tell the truth, with everything related to diagrams, patterns and calculation. Then, I pinned every pattern to a fabric. I spent some time on planning their placement for the better pattern in the end. Next, it was time for cutting all the pieces. I wasn't sure about my wool fabric, so I've decided to make two pieces for every piece of the pattern. I had three pieces done. I liked how colors matched in the brim piece. One piece was left to place in the best position and then to cut it out. I've chosen a dark brown thread. It will look natural in fabric and I could make an invisible stitches with it as well. This is how piece looked after I machine sewn them together and pulled the right side out. You can also see that this piece differs from the other fabric, but it's the same fabric, it's just the trim of it. Mm -hmm. 
sooner or later, it came time for sewing. I sewed some parts on the machine and some parts I had to make by hand. Using the invisible stitch, I've paired the sides of brim. Following that, I've put together the sides of the crown. Surprisingly enough, the crown was very thick and it could keep its form by itself. I was very happy that my idea with two pieces of wool worked and I could continue on my sewing. At the original picture, the side of the crown was decorated with ribbon. I've decided to make the same decoration and I found this red wine ribbon to decorate my chapeau. I was so excited to finish my chapeau as soon as I can, so I forgot to film the process of sewing it to my head. So you have to trust me that I actually did it myself. So the chapeau is done and it was my first experience in making such things because I've made beanie once the last year. You can see it on my other video and it was very complicated, even there were not so much pieces to put together. But this is totally different level, I think, and I like very much the witchy vibes I get from this chapeau. Maybe you don't have that vibes, but personally I have, and I like that this chapeau looks very modern and temperate, but at the same time it's very fashionable and has a character inside. If you think that you can make one chapeau and continue living your normal life, you're mistaken, because after you make one, you feel strong need to make another and another, because you see different styles, you find more patterns and of course I hope to see you in my next video where I will tell you the story about my second chapeau. See you all there! <laughs>